Hello and welcome to the Department of Tourism and Hospitality Studies at Cork Institute of Technology. My name is Adrian Gregan. I'm Head of Department. We have a wide range of courses in all of the disciplines for the tourism, hospitality and catering business. With all courses there are periods of work experience and placement built into the courses. We have a fully dedicated building that is of European standard. The lecturers on the programmes are dedicated hospitality and tourism industry professionals. Cork Institute of Technology is one of the largest institutes of technology in the country. If students have an interest in either tourism or hospitality sector, it is very useful if they have had some sort of either or holiday work or part-time work or other experience because from that they know quite clearly if this is the right course for them. Hi, my name is Leanne Collin. I'm in second year in Cork Institute of Technology. I chose this course because I always had an interest in food and always wanted to be a chef and I thought this would be the perfect way. The majority of the course is practical cooking. We're in the kitchen four times a week out of five. There's a small bit of theory but the majority is practical cooking. Your typical day in the college would be coming in in the morning getting into your uniform, doing practical in the kitchen. The practical would take up most of your day. You'd then have a brief after your class, see how you got on, present your food, and then there may be a class or two of theory. The most challenging part of the course, I think, would be a small bit of the theory. Most of it is practical, and that's the most I enjoy. But the projects and assignments are also fun as well as challenging. I would definitely recommend this course and college to everybody. It's a great way to meet people, it's very social, very enjoyable. Hey, my name is Owen Short and I'm in uh, second year. Well, I left Rochelle in college in sixth year and I came to CIT here. I know what I wanted to do was be a chef and I liked it, I loved it. This course is great. The advice I give to someone taking a course like this is you have to have a very big passion for chefing. You'd want to be um, very dedicated as well because it's about long working hours, but it's worth it at the end of the day. My training in the college made me very, uh, more confident in the kitchen when I went out in placement because what I learned from uh, CIT is very helpful for uh, when you're working out in the industry. My name is Liam Newland. I'm section head here in the Department of Tourism and Hospitality Studies at CIT. We, we do a wide range of global dishes. We do quite a lot of Asian foods and uh, Caribbean foods and so on in, in, in this module. I think it's very important that the students would be aware and have exposure to the, the ingredients and the cultures from the different countries. This kitchen that we're in at the moment is slightly different from a real production kitchen in that the students practice a lot of their dishes here and they move on during the, uh, at later stage in the week when they go into the main production kitchen, which would be a simulated production situation and they produce for our, for our restaurant. We're very proud of our success and the, the quality of our students in the, in the, in the National Apprentice programmes. Hi, my name is Scaly Cotter. I'm a lecturer here in Bar Operations in CIT. Um, this is the Bar Supervision class. Um, it's a two-year Level 6 Higher Certificate in Arts. Okay, we're going to make a cosmopolitan. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm a third year student doing the Bachelor in Business and Tourism. For my work placement this year in, in summer, I'll be going to Tenerife for six weeks. I plan to do my Master's after this anyways. We have 19 hours, which is not too bad for a third year. Like Many of the hours are based for project work. So we have to put on a lot of emphasis on that because there's loads of group projects and, yeah, and assignments to do as well. There is 30 in our class, a very small class, so we get along great. My advice is prioritise your work, your college work and your socialised work, definitely. Hi, my name is Seamus O'Connor and I'm here in CIT and I'm studying Business Studies and Tourism. I had done many courses before in the tourism, uh, FITA courses, for example, uh, advanced bartending, supervisory development and hospitality skills. So I had done my foot soldier line of work in the industry, so I decided that why not pursue a career in the higher ranks. I suppose a business does help, or a language, if you've taken that in secondary school, does help, but um, it uh, the courses in such a way that they do ease you into any aspects and it's uh, friendly to those who haven't been familiar with any of these subjects before. This is a great opportunity for any uh, student hoping to travel and at the end of the day it is a business degree as well. Hi, my name is Bridget Walsh and I'm a third year student studying hospitality management in CIT. It basically goes through everything from the technical skills, from working at operative level the whole way up to management. In first year it was very much practical based so we did work in the kitchen we did work in the, the practical restaurant, in the practical bar, we did accommodation and front office check-ins and check-outs and 
Then in second year, it's more of a balance between the theory behind it or organising menus. We actually ran the restaurant here and uh, the kitchen as well. So we did both sides of a working restaurant. And then in third year, it's much more theory based. So we're learning about all the aspects of the management side as opposed to operations. And work with your lecturers. They're great and they're so easy to get on with and they're such a big help.